So last episode, I decided to wait approximately one second too long to raise my rifle, and a wolf took a chunk out of me. But we're still going to try and get out of here this episode. Hey there, Legion, it's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. So our condition is considerably lower than it was when we began the last episode, but we still have some resting that we can do. Uh, as I kick things off here, I'm going to go ahead and load up on some of my fire-making supplies, because we are going to need to make some water before we leave. And I don't need a lot, but we need to just get a fire going. And we will certainly be, when we leave here, making sure that I've brought with me all of the supplies that I have stashed here that I might possibly be able to make use of and be able to carry in a safe manner. I'm not going to be too much of a pack rat because we're heading towards the finale of the series. There's no reason to carry a lot, but I want to have enough with me for the journey. So that being said, and as I mentioned last episode too, we, we uh, are likely to find more cattails in Forlorn Muskeg. One of the reasons to go that direction before we go to Hush River Valley. So let's start a fire with this cedar firewood. First objective is just to get some water to make sure that thirst doesn't become a problem as I make my deerskin boots. Come on, little fire. But then we're just going to make our deerskin boots. And then we're going to leave once condition and, um, well, condition both of our character and the conditions outside oh, yeah. are That's a good one. appropriately awesome. Get some water going. And now while that's happening, a couple of cured deer hides, and I believe I also need to repair some of my rabbit skin stuff, so I may as well grab some more. I'll just pick all of it up. I can put it all back down before I leave. And no, I will not forget. I hear you. Shut up. Uh, let's see. First thing I want to do is, is make the the deer skin, because I don't want to use something that I that I need accidentally. So how long do I have, roughly? 36 minutes, and then it's going to be about another 30 to 40 minutes to get that uh, melted. So let's open up the workbench. Deer skin boots. Yeah, four cured guts. I'm glad I didn't do too much repairing beforehand. So we can use a sewing kit to do it a little faster. And this requires 12.5 hours. So how about I just do my first one hour on these, get them started, because we have that water that we're waiting on. All right, 12 minutes until boiled, and we have a blizzard outside. Lovely. Let's just pass time until that's ready. We're going to drink that. And how much time is left on this fire? Two hours, 13 minutes? I'm going to put one more order of water on there. <laughs> say that like it's a fast food restaurant and let's do this for tell you what I'll do it I'll do an hour and a half and I should be able to get away with that the water shouldn't have boiled off just yet there it is 45 minutes until boiled dry so I'm gonna drink that and take the remainder of it and that should leave me with plenty of water I would think. Yes, leaves me with an entire gallon, and there's only 36 minutes left on the fire. Okay, something just popped in my ear. I don't know if that was just my hardware, just my ear, or if that was something in the game, but I guess you guys will tell me later. So, uh, it was on the left side. Anyway, let's see. Now we just have a flat 10 hours to go, and I have plenty of time. I'm not going to have a lot of daylight left. So let me just try for four hours. Okay, and that's more or less all the work I'm going to get done on these today. Although, I can drink some water and maybe get one more hour in. I'll bet you I can. Perfect. All right, five hours left, which I'm going to have to do tomorrow, but that's okay because I need to rest anyway and recover some of the condition that that wolf decided to so rudely rob me of. I wish I had some, uh, some birch bark, but I don't. Oh, did I just see what I think I just saw? Hold on. You saw it too, didn't you? I know you did. 
Yeah, it's a rifle cartridge. <laughs> Something I've managed not to find yet. Okay. Let's put that away. Yeah, we're very low on lantern fuel, which is frustrating. We're going to have to rely on torches going forward, which isn't the worst thing in the world. I have yeah, <laughs> a ridiculously small amount. Yeah. So small that it didn't even show on the 0.00, .00 on the three decimal point counter <laughs> that this game uses. All right, so let's drink a cup of herbal tea. That will top off my thirst and give me a few more calories to munch on. Also, um, I think I can get through the night with my current calorie load. Yeah, I can. So let me go ahead and sleep for, let's do eight hours. How about nine? Only six of those are going to be boosted by the T. But that's the full six. Okay, the sun is about to come up. Condition-wise, how am I doing? Okay, a little bit better. Now, one thing I can definitely do to pass some time here, since I still have some repairing going on. Let's see, I saw the cardboard box, so if I step over this way, here's the fire barrel. What do I have on me that I can use to start a fire? I've got a torch. Although I doubt that that's gonna last a particularly long time. Let's use a wood match. Just a 75% starting chance. If this just gives me a little bit of light by which to pick up stuff from the drawer and then pile things onto the embers, I'll take it. Because I just want some light while I repair what I have. Perfect. Come on. I can't see. I don't want the tender. I can't. I can't tell. Okay. Alright, well that, that didn't work at all. Sad day. And now I don't have any fuel. Really? Did I use all of my wood on that fire? The entire purpose of doing all that was to try not to use up any of my lantern fuel while I was looking for stuff. So, <sighs> matches. I hope one day they add the ability to more expeditiously go through your categories of like lighting and such. All right, so yeah, I guess I do have all of my... Yeah, I don't have any fuel left. I mean, I can probably break down some wood in here if I haven't already done all of it. Yeah, there's some here. Break this down, it's gonna take an hour and 30 minutes to do, and that would be an effective way to pass time. By the time I was done with it, I, I might not even, yeah, now I don't even need to pass time anymore. I can even see a little bit. All right, good. So I think I do have, no, I don't. I'm starving. I know you are. Where's the door? Leave gas station. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. You probably can. Just a thought. Okay, so let's eat this venison. Imagine I'll just eat both of them. Drink that water. I at least want to repair my rabbit skin stuff. Yeah. It is a pain in the butt to cycle through. Okay, I just need enough light to get to the workbench, and then I can just start working. And I can probably just finish these in one go, I would guess. So, deerskin boots. Spend five hours. And begin. Yes, I always hesitate slightly when I'm doing anything for that long on high difficulty in the long dark. It's like, well, what could go wrong during that time? It is paranoia to the highest degree. Let's drink. Calorie-wise, 1,700. And I have nothing to eat. 
<laughs> aside from teas to drink to uh, get my calories back up. I might have a little bit left. Let's see. I'm gonna see how much these improve things. Oh, so much better. All right. They are heavier, unfortunately. But okay, having done that, let's now... I'm really hoping I don't fail at this. Our chance for success is pretty damn high. But let's repair our remaining gear. And then I think I will just stick with the condition on the rest of my stuff. And this will be the last repair I do. If I fail, I won't be able to try again. There it is. Okay, well with that being done, let me now take a look around as I said I would. We're going to leave these pelts. I think I may take this wood with me just for the road because I'll be able to use it on the road. Okay, clothing-wise, I have everything I need. So nice to finally have those deerskin boots. It's just, they, they give me another couple of degrees of warmth and wind protection. It's, my, it's been my shoes this series that have been the most problematic. All right, so yeah, I don't really have the means to make arrows at this point, and I don't know that I'm going to have them. I've got enough bullets, so as much as part of me might have had the ambition to be a bow and arrow player this run, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So let's put... I mean, I suppose I can keep one arrow and the bow on me because it's not that heavy but I'm not going to carry the things that I need to make them. That's just silly. That's just silly and, and unnecessary. I will take my 10 coal with me because, again, I can use this along the way. I won't end up there with 10 coal. Okay. I think I'm more or less ready to go. Now, the only thing I want to do at this point is look through my drawers. I've already looked there. Let's see what else I have here. I've got some stuff in this drawer. Now that I think is just some antiseptic. Yep. Don't need that. Those are the boots that I set down. Do I need my cooking pot? Or do I have one with me? I can take my cooking pot with me. I think I will. Matter of fact, if I take my cooking pot with me, there's a reason to leave my two, um, what are they called? To leave my two cans, yeah, those things, behind. I've got all the flares that I need, I believe. Do I have anything else going on here? No? And just these wolf hides are here. But I am, I think ready to get moving. And the weather sounds decent-ish. I am not the most rested in the world, so part of me wants to relax for a bit. But here's the thing. I, um, first of all, the weather sounds decent. And it is, in fact, decent, although it's very bright at the moment. Yeah, we're not even... We're, we're barely losing condition due to temperature at the moment. But the other thing is that I don't have any food on me. I mean, I, I suppose I can triple check just to make sure that I ate all of the deer steaks. I believe I did. For once, the wind is at my back. Although right now I'm turning around, so it's still blowing in my face. Yeah, I, I don't see... I ate them all. I was almost positive that I did. But what I'm going to do is just start moving. We're going to follow the road. And we're just going to take the road straight, the path. Or I'm going to follow the road through Coastal Highway, but we're going to take the path straight to Mystery Lake. And we're going to move through that zone looking for rabbits and for deer to kill along the way. I'll be happy even with props if I find them. Yeah, we have a very, very nice 
protection level going on right now. We're just below freezing despite a 19 degree air temperature and a 32 degree wind chill. That's how nice our gear is. And that's after the wolf attack and round of repairs. So our stuff is slightly worse. All right, there's a deer right there, but you know what? That's not far enough along for me. I want to get farther down the road before I think about shooting and killing anything. Because the whole point of me saying we're going to get out of Dodge is, you know, we want to actually get out of Dodge. It's never occurred to me how strange that phrase sounds when you actually pronounce of. Because the phrase is, get out of Dodge, right? And there's a casualness to the way that we say that, typically. We don't say, get out of Dodge. We say, get out of Dodge. So I pronounced of a moment ago. I was like, oh, that sounded weird. I feel like an alien now. Maybe I am an alien. Have I been an alien this whole time? I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just keep moving. You can tell I'm somewhat euphoric to actually be <laughs> getting out of Dodge. And we still have 10 minutes on this episode, so there's stuff that we could do. Yes, in my heart of hearts, I do wish that I could uh, record longer episodes, but for the amount of content that I aspire to produce on a daily basis and the kind of schedule that I want to keep, Going far beyond 30 minutes per episode, 25 really, but 30 is what I sometimes stretch it to, is uh, usually just too much of a problem. It's too difficult to squeeze in to my life. Because if you consider the fact that I tend to record two to three, sometimes more episodes at once, an extra five to 10 minutes represents an extra 15 minutes to half hour to 45 minutes. You know, when I have full recording sessions, it can be even more time. And that's just not the idea of doing longer episodes, which I pretty routinely get comments. And I, th I take them as compliments, by the way. I'm not complaining. But I get folks saying, you should make episodes longer. Some people more assertive than others. <laughs> make episodes longer, Hadrian. We demand it. I can't. It's not possible. Unless you want me to produce fewer series. Which some of you probably don't have a problem with. But, um, it's good for the channel to have some variety. And I'm gonna get a sprain. Come on, level out. Thank you. That, by the way, down there is the pathway. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna inch my way downward. Crush fingers. If the game pauses for five minutes, we ah. <laughs> like that. Ugh. Get me off the damn slope. Come on. I wasn't sure if there would be a wolf near the uh, fishing area, so I decided... Not the fishing area, whatever. The logging area. Whatever it, that is down there. So I decided to take the long way. And got sprained as a result. Now, if we run into a deer... I think ideally I would like to see if I can find a deer or a rabbit to kill in the transition zone between here and Mystery Lake. That would give me the caloric value that I need. I mean, I could also, if we get attacked by a wolf, I could kill that for, for meat. Again, I'm not completely up the creek without a paddle at the moment when it comes to calories because I have teas, both medical teas and coffee and herbal tea that I can drink.
That's yet another answer to those folks who sometimes wonder why I made so many of them. Again, part of that, being on the top of Timberwolf Mountain, was just me being a creature of habit and doing what I did the last time I was up there with all that coffee and tea to drink, but there is also another portion of that explanation is the fact that I do actually want to have edible items from my coffee and tea on me at any given moment. Yes, it adds to my weight, but it also gives me food in emergency situations. And I don't have to think about it if I just have a minor stash of things that I can kind of just guzzle down for four or 500 calories worth. Yeah, we're starting to get tired, so we are obtaining sprain risk at the moment. Kind of an annoying combination of circumstances because of what I'm talking about. We, we need to have a little bit more... I mean, I could drink some coffee, I suppose, and that would fix both problems at the moment. That would fix the exact combination of circumstances that I'm talking about. I could drink some coffee. We're not even getting colder at the moment. It feels like 37 degrees. Perfect for Hush River Valley. I'm going to drink some coffees. I've got extra of these, so why not? It'll give me calories. It'll give me energy. It'll reduce my encumbrance. And I still have a few more that I can cook. Perfect. Okay. Now I feel better about my life. Have I been in here already? I'm fairly certain I have. But just in the interest of thoroughness, since we're walking right by it, there's also a cabin over there that I'm not sure about. Although I'm not going to go that far out of my way. I think I've been in here. Yes, I have been in here. Question answered. There's a lost and found. Hey! A storm lantern. Hold on. A storm lantern with how much fuel exactly? With a lot of fuel. Okay. Well, we're going to drop that storm lantern and keep the one we just found. Holla frickin' Luya. Okay. Let's continue up the road, shall we? I will grab a few sticks because in the off chance that I encounter something that I can cook, I need something to start a fire with. Right now I have... I've got my coal on me. But that's it. Come on now. There we go. Now, in the past... Really? Is it still doing the thing where when I open... When I, when I pull up a weapon... Is that bug still in the game? Where the weight of the ammo is not counted until I pull a weapon out? Because if so, that's annoying. I'm gonna drop two of those pieces of wood, and that'll fix that problem. I prefer not to deal with increased brain risk at the moment, especially for silly reasons. Thank you very much. In a very early, I think in season one of Against All Odds, we ran into a wolf up at the top of this ramp. So I'm always cautious on this ramp. I feel like the patrol routes have changed since then, but the memory isn't gone. And so every time I'm walking up here, I, I feel the potential for a wolf to be coming straight down the ramp toward me. I think there was a moment in season one where I shot a wolf right here. Yeah, where the snow starts to crest the wall. You can kind of hop over. I was coming from the other direction and the wolf was coming from where I am now. So it was actually a very similar kind of downrange shot to the one I was trying to take on the wolf last episode. <laughs> Didn't work out for me last episode the way it did in season one when I was hitting the wolf here. But yeah, that's why I always think maybe just maybe I'm about to run into a wolf. Okay, well, speaking of episode length, if I keep going right now, I will enter the transition zone and could potentially run into other uncertain things that would keep me recording longer. And at this particular moment, I cannot. I've got to stop. So I'm going to step into this shed here. We're at the top of Coastal Highway, about to head down that direction towards Mystery Lake. Ooh. 
and we're going to be moving pretty rapidly towards Forlorn Muskeg. We're going to have to go through Mystery Lake, of course, through the length of the zone, uh, but we're going to move towards Forlorn Muskeg, hopefully grab some uh, some additional um, cattails, yes, those things, uh, while also killing some deer or wolves along the way for some meat, because I do need some of that. I'm below the halfway point for my calories, and I want to keep my well-fed buff, because it's it's helping me out a whole lot right now. So, uh, cross fingers, everything goes smoothly, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and yeah, I just said this, but uh, I'll see you next time.